So with this material, we can make anything. And with this material, we can make it... You're all right, mate. <laughs> I'm all right, mate. We can make it 100 times stronger than duct tape or stronger than steel, they say. I claim that to be true. So if we combine these two, we can make whatever we want and make it as strong as steel. And much cheaper than any other place possible. Indeed. Maybe with this, I can finally get myself a girlfriend. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I doubt oh, it. Hey! <laughs> we need to make a wrench to untighten and tighten on this screw because we can't get it with this dang wrench. And we don't have the size for it. So instead of going to Harbor Frank and buying a wrench, let's just create one. What if we made a sword of ours as big as we wanted and as strong as steel? And then sharpen it. Ah. So we'll put this hot water into there and pour in the beads and they're gonna start melting together. Why drip on that thing? Oh, that's not working. <laughs> that's under it. Okay, that water should be post toasties. They said about 140 degrees, but I don't know how to figure that out. Oh, yeah, that's toasty. All right, let's pour those in. Whee! Oh, we're losing them. That's the whole thing. Shoot. Uh, owie! Okay. All right, so we just pour it in, let it sit for two minutes, and then snag it out with a pair of chopsticks. Oh. Damn. I guess the tongs will have to do. I know someone who can save us. John Cena. Chow Jung Hao Jung Wo. Bing Chi Ling. Bing Chi Ling. Bing Chi Ling. All right, we ran out of propane, so now we're using the hot plate. And we're inside because it was cold. Okay, we're getting there. It's a little toasty, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How does that feel? That feels good. Let's give it a little bit more time in there, but that's getting there. Getting some good exfoliation. Oh. My pores are wide open right now. The top is uber squishy, definitely moldable as you want it, but the bottom still is not completely. Ooh. Got some taffy there, brother? See that? Tell me a bad joke. <laughs> oh. All right, uh, let's shape that into a wrench. I'm gonna make the handle real quick, make it nice and comfortable. And where's that nut? Weep. Give me that nut. <laughs> he's, he's hungry. This is a lot harder than you think it would be. Is it hardening? Well, I mean, it's just kind of tough, but then it's not tough enough to just like perfectly hold its shape. Does it kind of like return to its shape? That's what it looks like. Okay, I think we need to heat it up again. Let's see how much that did in that amount of time. Oh yeah, that's already like way more malleable. Insert the nut. There we go. And the cold table is cooling it down and hardening it. Here it goes in the cold water. Cold water. Uh, let's turn that into a sword. But we gotta start off with its base shape. Think about how thin you're gonna want it. Yeah, true. Ready, hilt. That is a beautiful hilt. <laughs> Don't see any swords getting through that anytime soon. Uh, actually, it looks a... like an air hockey pack. <laughs> it's a hilt. Ready, watch, ready. Yeah, I'll grab that. Flatten it. Oh, careful. Oh, now it's probably cooling off, huh? It is. Can you see the shape of the sword coming along, though? There's, the sword is coming out. You flip it over. Oh, look at that. So what we're going for here is a little bit of a chisel grind. More hot water. Ah. We're going to refine this wrench. Don't breathe this. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, it's like melting it. That's so cool. Ew. Oh, it's so hot. Ow! <laughs> Ow! 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 It's so hot. Look, Firefix is even nice enough to send you some gloves and sandpaper. Okay, so I just gotta oh, put on gloves. Oof, that was close. Ah, oh, that was a new death experience. Okay, Ooh. quick, 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 quick. Yeah. 10 to 15 seconds. One, two. Okay. Get off the excess water. Okay, I'm gonna start with the sword. Ah, uh, I didn't. Rough up the sword. Uh oh. This sandpaper is so bad. Alright, where's some decent sandpaper? It's like when you break your arm and you get your cast.
Okay, we're gonna stand here like this for 15 minutes. Okay, round two. Alright, well, we've got a lot of extra, so let's use it on the sword. I like how this is looking. The black and white. That's not fully cured. Now remember, you always want to carve towards yourself because you'd hate to hurt anyone else. That's what they taught me when I got my totem chip anyways. It is pretty neat to set this stuff and then be able to carve it like 20 minutes later. All right, here's our finished wrench. We kind of realized last minute that we needed another one coming out this way or over here on this side. So it might not be great, but will it tighten? I can only get it that far hand tightened. Okay. <laughs> the fiber fix kind of ruined the, oh, kind of made the fitting, the fitment a little bad. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You see that? That is nice. The wrench is doing its job. It is doing its job. Look, I can go on, I can go off, I can do whatever needs to be done. Man. <laughs> Easy. Who needs a wrench? When you have plastic and whatever this stuff is called. Fiber fix. Fiber fix. All right, we're gonna test if Palmer can cut this water bottle. <laughs> Yo! Yo! That was the most epic bottle flip. <laughs> Did it really not cut it? Uh, I guess not. Uh, it can be used as a really good cricket bat. <laughs> <laughs> I tried using the belt grinder to sand it, but it was kind of melting the resin and not really working. We got it wedged in there real nice, as you can see from this side as well. And we're gonna see if it can support my weight. Uh, it failed. <sighs> so much for the sword. Can't get it out now. <laughs> Stuck. The King Arthur. 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 I am Arthur. Uh, I am worthy. It didn't break really. It just kind of bent. Yeah. Which, if you think about it, something that thin, just a couple layers of that thin of steel, probably would actually bend. I dub thee Sir Bottom's worth. Ready? Solid. Ow. <laughs> Jeez. It, it's like, it doesn't even care. That rebounds like it's nothing. <laughs> yeah. What a beast. We have not passed the plastic deformation. It looks like it's. Oh, we, we did it. We got through the fiber fix. Now it's just the polymorph stuff. Oh. Come on. That thing is a little twist. Hanging on for its life. A little twist. Oh. Woo. That, that was, was a battle. That was. You're out of breath. That was like five straight minutes. Maybe 10 straight minutes of me just yanking at that oh. thing. That is crazy how strong that was. The combo of the two. Like, like uh, that is super, like it's flexy and really tough. And then this has like such a nice hard outer shell. You can make anything that would normally withstand anything with that. Like, dang. Oh. If you had like a molder that you could like really push that into, you can make some solid tools yeah. with that for sure. Drop some ideas down below for tools you want to see us do with this. Maybe we'll try making a better mold, make it like a real, really good shape. I'd call this proof of concept. I, I am surprised. That was tough.